The Sixth Commandment, but more. Um, chaste. What if God, either now or someday, wanted you to have a healthy, happy marriage? And the things that would help you, either now or someday, have a healthy, happy marriage were chaste. And the things that would hurt your marriage were not chaste. It's a simple explanation. And I can understand now how normalizing, objectifying women would hurt my marriage. I can understand now how uh, creating a whole bunch of baggage from broken hearts and then going into a new relationship might actually cause some problems. I can understand now why I should be chaste. But the problem is, chastity apart from marriage is a supernatural gift, according to Luther. Supernatural. Like superpowers. Like up there with Spider-Man. Being chaste until you're married, kind of like being Spider-Man. Most of us don't have that superpower. Some of you might. It's tough, especially for you, because this is a commandment where you don't actually have a proper outlet for it. Some of you, it might be years until marriage. Some of you are trapped with sin with no way to just ignore it and make it go away by trying harder. So if you happen to be a parent tuning into this uh, video for high school kids, remember just how much you are asking of your kids. And if you are those kids um, and the Lord asks you to fight an overwhelming enemy in sin, if you feel unclean and condemned for just being how you were born to be, fallen into sin, corrupt in your nature, Know that God loves sinners and God loves you. We don't excuse it away by saying I was born this way, so it must be how I'm supposed to be because, well, people are born into poverty. People born, are born into sickness. I, I lost two kids before they were ever born. That's not how things are supposed to be. But even though we were born this way and it's not how it's supposed to be, God wants to see us made clean, made whole, made holy enough to look at him and even look at ourselves in the mirror. If you happen to be fighting and losing an awful, unfair battle in chastity, know that Jesus died on the cross for you and your salvation is not dependent on you having supernatural abilities to combat sin on your own, but in Christ who is crucified for you and who fights for you, even where you still fail. Fall real hard on the means of grace. Go to your pastor, hear absolution. Rejoice that you are baptized. Take communion for the forgiveness of sins and strength to carry forward if you can. Because the law, it should drive you to the gospel, not to despair. I know that we cannot keep, we cannot obey, we cannot perfectly uphold this law on our own shoulders. The point of the religion, though, is that Jesus did it for us. Your sins are forgiven you. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.